uh, very appropriate. Lakers legend, obviously the world is still mourning the loss of Kobe Bryant. Just what does Kobe mean to you? Well, you know, I coached Kobe for six years. And I, I knew his family, I knew his wife, I knew his, his kids, you know, so it was, it was a real loss. You know, I, I don't know, I think in terms of a sports icon yeah. being gone, but just a very uh, involved family man and father that's not there and a daughter that's not there. I used to play peekaboo with uh, her, you know, and it, it bothers me that they're not here. What's kind of the Kobe story that you remember, a positive one between you and him? Kobe had an incredible <laughs> sense of humor, man. He, so he could just blurt out things that were <laughs> pretty outrageous and very funny at times. Can know? we see any of them here or no? I don't know if you'll see it, but uh, one day at practice, uh, uh, Luke Walton yeah. uh, was trying to do some spectacular things, but just failed uh, up and down the court about <laughs> three or four times. And, you know, it's Luke yeah. Walton, right? And uh, Kobe yells out, the Force, Luke. Use the Force. He's a Star Wars fan. And, and, we, we, and I just bust out <laughs> laughing. Man. He, uh, how could you be thinking about something like that at basketball practice, yeah. you know? But uh, Kobe had that kind of sense of humor. Last thing on him, just if you were going to describe him in a couple words, what would you say? A very intense in t uh, uh, competitor willing to sacrifice anything uh, for his uh, profession and, you know, the, the sport that he loved. He, he was very into that. But uh, away from that, he's uh, a, a great parent and dad. Um, you know, I, I think he should, re but he should be remembered that way. Kareem, you're seven foot two. What's the best part and the worst part of that? Oh, geez. <laughs> the best part.